If you're looking to transfer your blog posts or pages from one WordPress site to another WordPress site, the people at WordPress know that this is probably something that's going to happen. So they actually have a way to do it built in with WordPress. You do need to have access to the admin of both sites, however. So in this case, I want to get all of these blog posts from this site over to this one. First thing you want to do is over here on the left, you've got tools. Somewhere on there, you should see an option that says export. Go to that. So when you get to the export, you're going to want to choose what you want to export. Do you want to do all, includes posts, pages, etc., or do you want to do just individual sections? In my case, I don't actually want any of the pages or any of the products. I actually just want my posts. So I'm going to choose my posts and I'm going to leave everything to all. I want all of it. And I'm going to then go download export file. Now, when I go to my downloads folder, I've got an HTML document, which is going to be all of those posts that I wanted. Now I'm going to go to my new site, the one that I want to put it in. And just like before, I'm going to go to tools, except for going export, I'm going to go import. Okay, so we've got multiple options here and it's going to actually install a plugin. So hit install now. It only takes a few seconds. And then once that's installed, hit run importer. You're going to choose your file. I'm going to hit upload file and import. It's going to give me some assigned options here because for a blog post, maybe the authors on the old one are different from the new, new ones. So I can create a new one. Or if I want to make sure to give credit to whoever wrote the blog post originally, I can, of course, say import author, which in this case, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to sign them to this person. The download import file attachment is basically going to try to attach any images and documents to the pages that you're imported. So I'm going to go yes on that and then hit submit. One thing to note why we went on this to import is let's say you're doing the whole site and the pages, it's going to import the content. That's something to be aware of because it's not going to do the site itself in regards to the format of the overall site, the page layout and that kind of stuff. It's really just focused on the content. And something else to note is if you're importing a lot of content, there might be limitations based on your hosting platform. So keep that in mind. If there is an issue with a lot of content, you might need to make some changes to your hosting. Okay, now I'm gonna pop back into my posts section and I can see all of the posts are now imported. So I'll jump back to the old one and I've highlighted this few night photography tips and I can see now that few night photography tips is in the new site. And that's it. That's really all there is to it. It's pretty quick and uh, painless. Hopefully it works for you as well.